Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a reaction and breakdown to Rob Bomb versus Jose Aldo. Um, it was a crazy fight while it lasted, um, and it did last to the whole five rounds. Uh, it's 10:29 p.m. That's why I'm talking a little bit low. But man, awesome performance by Jose Aldo. He has proved, and I'm gonna do a full card recap as well. I'll do a full call recap. I'm recording it after this. Um, I have to make the I, I you know I have to make this individual breakdown of this. Jose Aldo Rafael, incredible, incredible matchup. This was a very awesome matchup, very fun matchup, and I really love this matchup. Jose Aldo still doing the damn thing. Got a decision win over Rafael, and I'm gonna give my reaction and breakdown, of course. I thought it was 4-1 Jose Aldo. He looked incredible out there over Rolf Font. Showed great cardio. But man. Aldo looked like Aldo. And he's looking way better. Each time we're in here. He looked I know he dominated Pedro Munoz. But he this one was a little bit closer. But Rolf Font. Credit to Rolf Font as well. It's not just all Aldo. Rolf Font looked good also. But more so, Ralph, uh, uh, so more so, Jose Aldo won this fight, and he did win this fight, and it was incredible. Good win from Jose Aldo. Um, I'll talk about uh what's next for him and what's uh, what he has to do. Um, uh, after this, he's on a three fight winning streak. Beat Marlon Vera, beat Pedro Munoz, beat Rob Font. He's a beast. And um, my thoughts on the fight. I thought, I thought, um, I thought Aldo arguably could have won every round watching it live, okay? And then I thought, I thought personally, round one, round two, were Jose Aldo's. Round one, he was getting it, looked like, and also, before, before he was, while he's walking to the cage, while he was walking to the cage, it looked like his left leg had like torn ACL on bo above his knee. It looked like his leg had a problem and it's kind of his hand also, but more so his leg and I was worried we were gonna see like a Jose Aldo leg snap. But thank goodness he got it done, Jose Aldo. So happy for him. He better get his title shot. Screw TJ Dillashaw. Actually screw TJ Dillashaw. You could have lost to Corey Sanhagen. And look where he is now. Dillashaw's gonna have to wait out for a bit. He's also injured. People want to do the Aldo Dillashaw fight, but I I don't want to see it. I really don't. Aldo is way better. Aldo's too good for him to make that matchup. Aldo deserves a title shot. Make Yan Aljo. Kind of in the works for March, so I think Aldo should. Maybe if he wants to stay active, take on Dillashaw. But man, Aldo looks Aldo looked phenomenal out there. Um. Oh, uh, by, by the way, that was the part I was gonna say, but. Aldo was kind of getting outstruck early in round one. Looking like he was kind of like defeated in there. Already looking like he's going to lose. Then at the end of the round, drops Rob Font. Really badly. And yeah. Drops him very badly. But oh, man. Aldo won round one, I thought. Slightly round two. Aldo starts doing good. Um, Aldo starts really good in that round. Starts having big shots. Rocks Rob Font badly. Rob Font, I think, is a little bit suspect and a little bit chinny. I think he might be the next Marlon Marais. Um, But, man. Aldo really rocked him. And I thought Aldo slightly won the uh, second round. It was a closer round, Font did better, but first two rounds were really close, but I think Aldo got it this month. In the bigger moments, bigger uh, highlights, I think he had this one. Round three was the argument, maybe. Round three is the one where it kind of gets me a little bit. Round four and five were Aldo, but I'm going to go to there, go to there when I after the third. Third round. 
although Aldo takes the I think he I took brown control of Rob Font for I think he had it for like three minutes. Let's say last minute Font was looking good in the feet. I don't know how you can give that round to Rob Font. That's the closest round I think Rob Font won. And he could have won that round. And I'd say he could have won that round. Round three will go either way. I think round three, in all honesty, <clears throat> um, also, round three, in my opinion, was a closer round, closest round of the fight, I think. But, um, yeah, man. Um, Jose Aldo had ground control for a bit, in my opinion. He didn't land any. Total strikes. Font was adding total strikes. But I'm going to give that round slightly either way. I'd probably say Font wins the third round just because of the strikes. Damage. Aldo just didn't do anything on the top. But he just... Maybe Font would have grabbed on a single if he let go. But I think Font can edge round three barely. Round four. Aldo... Um, Aldo does really good in round four. And good shots. Font still does good though. Font looked good, man. Font did look good, but and he's massively improved. This just proves it, cause he remember I remember he lost a few years ago to Pedro Munoz, got rocked early by the jab. Font shoot, uh, Font shooted and got guillotined easily, easily, and Munoz won. Aldo dominated Munoz. Font. Font's improved, man, but just not at that level. He'll still be floating around the top five, but, man. Aldo ain't Garbrandt. Aldo ain't Marais. I know Marais technically beat Aldo. I thought Aldo won it quite comfortably. It was close to fight, but, like, Aldo, I thought kind of, I could have won that fight. And he's still bad. And he would KO Marlon Marais in, the, in like less than two rounds now, in my opinion, in a rematch. <sighs> Just due to cardio and due to the power, Marais is just a glass cannon. But man, good performance by Jose Aldo. Round four was closer, but round four was all the round I thought. Did good for ground control. Had it. Round five was all Aldo. All Aldo. Jose Aldo. All Aldo. All Aldo. All Aldo. Round five. Just gets it, man. Almost gets the choke at the end, but round five was just all all those round, man. And I know some people are just gonna call are gonna dislike this. I maybe you can't actually you can't now. You actually can't. Um I was just checking Discord. Um You can't check round five. Oh no no, no. What, what? What what what? I'm actually that fight was so crazy, I can't really think any like, right now. I can't, you can't check round five. You can't check round five. I don't know what I was talking about there, but. You can't give round five to Font. You can't give this fight to Font. And oh, people people picked Aldo. I thought it was 4-1 Aldo. Maybe 5-0. Maybe 5-0. Maybe 5-0. And it could be 5-0. I wouldn't be mad at all from that, but. I think it's 4-1 Aldo there. Round 5. Almost gets a choke at the end. Does really go strikes and damage. Aldo gets it done. The scorecards agree with me also. Um, I, I'm going to check what topology had it. Let me check. Um, I don't even know where it is. But yeah. Um, great win from Aldo, man. I think Dillashaw, I don't want to see that. I really don't. They might make it for now. So while they work on Yan Aljo too. Or Aljo Yan too. God, I hate Aljo. But, um, maybe Aldo Dillashaw for an interim belt. Wouldn't mind that. And I don't mind all those chances. I think Raw Font could beat Dillashaw. DJ Dillashaw. Hot take. I think he could win that. Oh my god, I thought Fort was calling. 
you arguably Font could be Dillashaw. Maybe not, just because of Actually he could though. I was about to say Dillashaw maybe can win for the later rounds. But I thought Dillashaw like I thought Dillashaw could have lost to Sanhagen. I thought Dillashaw won it. Slightly. Very slightly. 3-2, Dillashaw. But oh, Font could win that. Next for um although um Maybe just do him versus Dillashaw for an interim belt, or just five rounds fight night main event, or on a pay per view card. I think that would be a little bit better. Maybe on the Ann Aljo card. But, um. But yeah, good win from Aldo. If Aldo didn't do that, just wait out. You earned your title shot regardless. Why risk it? Seriously. Dillashaw beat Sanhagen, I understand. I understand. He beat Cordy Sanhagen. And that could be a little bit better. All together of wins instead of Marlon Vera, Pedro Munoz, Font, Rob Font. I understand San Hagen can just win all of them. But all who's been in there, man, looked phenomenal lately. The Vera fight was close, I understand, but look how good Vera is doing. Just front kick Edgar in the face and put him out. You know? Planning on taking on Marab next, I think. Dillashaw, he's injured. Should just be like, you know what? Aldo's a vet. Aldo is a legend. Veteran, I'll let him get the shot over me. That's what I think Dillashaw will be, but no. You could have lost to Sanhagen, though. You could have. I don't think you did. I thought you won it, but, like, you could have. Wait out. All those getting the shot first. Or if they do this fight, I don't even mind if they do uh, Aldo Dillashaw, but for next to Aldo, I think he should take on the winner of Peter Yan versus, um, I think you should take on... <sighs> Aljamain Sterling, Piotr Jan winner. Peter, Piotr Jan 2 winner. Um, because it's a rematch, of course. Or just take on Dillashaw. I would just say the Dillashaw matchup just to get it done and over with. And no one's going to be friend for a title shot. I know Marab and Vera are there, but Marab needs two more, I think. Vera needs two more as well. You know, including a win over Marab. It's like if he beats Marab, he needs only one more until a title shot. But man, looks looks good, man. But next for Aldo, I think take on TJ Dillashaw for now, or just wait out. And for Rob Font, Rob Font, I'm gonna check the UFC rankings right now. Now I've been thinking about this. Now I'll say it after. Jose Aldo, in my opinion, should move around the Corey San underneath TJ Dillashaw slightly. Raw Font can go at number five, drop down one. Uh, San Hagen can go to um, the four, and Jose can move up two to three. Font should be above Marab because he did beat um, he did beat uh, Mar Marlon Marais first. So, and Marab only has a win over Marlon Marais. Really about it. So yeah, I think all should go up. I think all Font should drop down one to five. Corey Sanhagen dropped down one to four, and all the move up two to three underneath TJ Dillashaw, right above Corey Sanhagen. I think that's the ideal. Aldo looked awesome though. Rob Font looked awesome too, but like Aldo just a bit better. I think uh, I scored it, uh, Jose Aldo four one in my opinion, but could be five zero. And yeah, um, that's about it. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna do my full card recap of this. Awesome card, underdogs. And yeah, peace out, guys. Woo! Peace.